Hey guys, what is up? Dave here coming back to you with another video on the channel and today's video is kind of a commentary video. Uh, I want to go over the recent update to the oldest anarchy server in Minecraft, 2B2T. There was a recent update to the server to take the game version from, I believe it was 1.12, which it was on 1.12 for I believe almost five years, all the way to 1.19. So let's give this a read over and I'll give my thoughts because, oh my God, there's so much shit here to unpack and it's, yeah, we'll get into it. So after a couple years of difficult work and many tests, we finally feel ready to update 2B2T to 1.19 and later versions. Cool, updates are always good. 2 do t like I said, was stuck on 1.12 for very, for a very long time, and yeah, now it's uh, now it's on 1.19. While our tests have managed hundreds of players on original world without any issues, expect the first week to be bumpy. Yeah, obviously, you never know how it's going to react in the real world versus test environments. There, there's many other changes happening to the server beyond the version change. Please read them below. All right, we're going to get into this. So here's the first thing. Soft economy reset. Oh my God, Housemaster has made a big mistake. Um, certain items have been removed or have had their stack sized back down to one with the intent of players working to obtain these again. Okay, so... <laughs> okay, uh, over the server's decade existence, various duplication exploits have caused significant damage to the server, particularly with the addition of shulkers. What do you mean by this? This is half the reason people play this server. Like, that that's how some people have fun, because this is against the rules on other servers, which... Oh, guess what? This is now basically against the rules on 2B2T. If you go look at the rules now... Oh, yeah, they have Cloudflare. Um, do not attempt to undermine the server's efforts to provide each and every player an equal and fair playing environment through means such as abusing any exploit, bug, or flawed game mechanic to cause server disruption or lag. So you can't use any exploits on the server anymore, like, even carpet duplication could potentially get you, what, banned? Like, it doesn't say here that he would ban you, but that was kind of one of the big things with 2B2T is nobody's ever been banned. Or, I think, there's been like two or three people that have been banned in the existence of 2B2T, but... There were they were literally breaking laws from what I remember. I don't remember the full stories off the top of my head, but yeah. Uh, so there's that. So, well, that's stupid. These duplicated items were responsible for majority of the server's past problems and to soften their future impact on 1.19 and later, they have been reduced or removed. That's... I guess I can understand that because, I mean, if you have a bunch of duplicated maps, you could have millions of maps very easily. Or with a server that's as popular as 2B2T, there were probably millions, if not billions, of enchanted apples. And I could see how that could cause problems because you're starting to get into item IDs that are just int 64s. Or something like that that you have to have in the server database to support it. Um, the full list of items will not be revealed here, though it is not long, and a few of them are end crystals, bottle of enchanting, enchanted golden apples reduced, totems of undying removed. So they not only did they. So you got to look at the verbiage here. End crystals removed. He straight up deleted what I what makes it sound like everybody's end crystals. He reduced everybody's uh, 
bottle of enchanting. You can't stack them anymore. They're a one-item stack, even with exploit so far. Um, enchanted golden apples reduced, down to a one stack. And totems of undying were removed. Now... I don't, I'm not part of the discords. I've only seen screenshots through Reddit and things like that. I wish I would have left it up, but the Reddit's a shit show right now, and I don't want to try to show it in a video. Um, people have started compiling their own list. The list is huge. Things like uh, not only totems, but like uh, beacons have been reduced. Uh, there's other things that have been straight up removed. Even a, going as far as like duplicated carpet quote-unquote, has been reduced. It's, oh my god, it's insane. Housemaster has made a huge mistake. Clarification update. These items are not removed from the server. Only existing items updating from 1.12 are removed or reduced. There are still several million of these items after reduction in the server, and it is expected that they will return into circulation between players fairly quickly. That doesn't fix what he did. Yes, there's still probably millions of gapples and stuff like that, but that doesn't really fix anything. Bad items. All items with illegitimate values for durability and chance or stack sizes has been have been removed. Understandable, you don't want 30k swords running around. Uh, for those that don't follow Minecraft 2B2T, 30ks were uh, hacked in swords that had strength 30,000. Uh, for an enchantment, and you could basically one-hit literally anything. Old chunks trimming. So, what are chunks, for those that don't play Minecraft? Minecraft loads in what I believe is 8x8 chunks. So, it's an 8x8 grid of data for the world that you are loading. It'll Generally, on Java, it's really slow. On Bedrock, it's pretty quick. But, yeah, it's... I'm not very good at explaining these things. Don't worry about it. Um, <laughs> anyway, over the server's 12 years of Minecraft hit version history, there's been a major amount of exploits and movement cheats, which has caused its large size of 23 terabytes. Wow. That is a big... That's got to be one of the biggest world maps in existence. Although, you got to wonder... There's priority queue. What is the cost of even a single drive for 23 terabytes? 23 terabyte SSD. Uh, I don't think they make those, do they? <laughs> don't they make like 40 terabyte SSDs now or something? Okay, they don't. Biggest, biggest SSD. Okay, so you can get some 100 terabyte SSDs almost. Two hundred terabyte. I was gonna say I know there's got to be like a hundred, a couple hundred terabyte you can get. Um, two hundred terabyte. SD. Can't you get a hundred terabyte SSDs? I'm sure you can. Either way. Oh, here we go. Yeah, you can get a single Iron Wolf 20 terabyte. Knew about the Iron Wolves. There's the WD4. That's only two. But yeah, if you just build a server that has like three two of these in it, or three, it's going to be completely fine. What is the price of that Seagate Iron Wolf 20 terabyte? 600 bucks. You could run the Minecraft server off of that easy. So realistically, with the... That's only... There were definitely a couple hundred people paying for priority queue. I can tell you there's not any more. Um, old chunk trimming. Anyway, so a significant estimated more than half of these chunks 
in all 23 terabytes are chunks that have been generated for less than a few seconds and not interacted with. These have no history on them and have not been seen by players and steal a lot from possible new 1.19 terrain generation. We have decided to cull these types of chunks and instead new 1.19 terrain will generate in its place. I'm kind of torn on this. On one hand you are getting new chunks, but on the other hand, how many of these chunks were maybe... 1.6 chunks or whatever like the very first version of minecraft was that 2p2t was on like what is gone now that was otherwise maybe 10 years old or older at this point what's gone because of it with this change a lot of new generation can generate closer and closer towards spawn Makes sense. The server attempts to only trim chunks in which there is no possibility of having being modified by a player or realistically interacted with for long enough time, for a long enough period of time. For example, a past cheat exploit may have allowed players to fly at any speed with their elytra or a boat or animal, uh, which would cause all chunks in their render distance to generate and afterwards never be loaded or seen by a player ever again. These are the kind of chunks that are being called out. That sounds okay to me, but I'm still on the fence about it. Maps. Maps will now generate a random and hidden ID. Players will see a random ID on the map. That really doesn't matter because, yes, there was the map reset exploit a little while back, but on 1.19 and newer, you can, I believe the map IDs are int 64 or like there's 4 billion possible IDs for maps now. So you're not going to really run into a problem of needing to reset maps or have a random ID. Render distance has been greatly increased. That's good because it was really small. World generation, the server now uses a modified vanilla terrain generator to hide the seed better prevent players from generating their own copy of the map that feels a little bit silly because i think the seed for 2b2t is already known and unless they change the seed what's the point in that anti-cheat the anti-cheat has been updated and it is planned to keep the anti-cheat more strict and updated more frequently, preventing players from movement cheats. So it's he's specifically attacking things like boat fly or entity speed, which makes sense because you can do the thing he's talking about with the terrain generation up here. I don't know. It's... I feel like there's definitely going to be some overstepping because we already have caught him lying, Housemaster, uh, with his list of items here. And bad items I forgot to talk about. Not only did he remove like durability, enchanted, and stack sizes, he also physically removed illegally placed blocks that have been there for 10 plus years. So things like uh, there were bed right or bedrock pillars in on 2b2t in certain places that some people knew about that were illegally placed over 10 years ago and they were kind of like monuments or tourist attractions if you will those are gone now completely he's wiped them completely any of the illegal end portals are completely gone um like it's it's a shit show Animal spawning. Animals have not been correctly spawning in and around spawn area for over a decade. This was caused by multiple biome changes throughout the game, resulting in animals not spawning at all. That's good. At least they work. Monster spawning. Compared to 1.12, there are many more monsters closer to the vanilla amount limits. Additionally, monster spawning has been changed to attempt to spawn more monsters closer to the player, avoiding spawning monsters too far away and may not be active 
That makes sense. You're controlling it so it's around the player rather than too far away from the player. Phantoms have been disabled. Thank God. Screw phantoms. That's one of the worst things they added to Minecraft. Player obfuscation. There, it is no longer possible to see with cheats, uh, to see a player's item, enchantment, or durability, or player health. I guess that's an okay thing. I mean, it's it's not a huge deal, and I bet you somebody's going to crack it at some point. Duplication prevention. There is now a system in place to prevent duplication of items. What did he do? Go blockchain on all the items? I, I doubt it. That Somebody's going to get around that no problem. That's not going to be a big deal. Uh, end dimension. The end dimension dragon fight has been reset. Old gateways were broken due to bedrock breaking exploits. Players may now fight the dragon to spawn new gateways. Pretty cool. Experimental changes. X-ray. To slow down and reduce particularly newer ores being generated too fast with cheats. Anti-X-ray. Eh. Health and hunger. The hunger system has been slowed down quite a bit. Regeneration will linger longer before normal hunger sets in. Okay. Death messages. Death messages in chat will only display for yourself. That's really stupid. All related servers back into the United States East location, which should result in much improved ping overall for most players. Oh boy. Oh, this goes to Reddit. Oh no. Yeah, like I was saying, uh, people are really hoping this is an April Fool's or something, even though it's not April. It's it's not good. Certain items have been removed or have had their stacks sized to one with the intent of players working to obtain these items over the server's existence. Location exploits. Yeah, that's dumb. There's a lot of problems here, and, you know, leave your thoughts in the comments down below. I think if there's any time to jump Anarchy servers or for somebody to start one... It's now. I wish 4B, 4T was still what it used to be. But realistically, 2B is dead to a lot of players. And it's not really anarchy anymore. Uh, I haven't called it anarchy in a long time, but people disagreed with me. But Housemaster slowly... I was kind of right. And Housemaster slowly tightening his grip on the server. This I said this is what it was going to turn into a long time ago. Nobody listened. And here it is. And, I was right. So I'm interested in maybe creating a Minecraft server. I have a spare server and one gigabit upload speeds here at home with unlimited data. I've thought about hosting a server. Y'all want me to host a server? Just completely no rules. None whatsoever. I don't care what you do. You can OP exploit for all I care. Um, I'm not going to have an anti-cheat. I'm going to run basically a vanilla server jar and just tell people to have fun. So let me know your thoughts on all this down below and I'll talk to you later. Peace out.